Have you ever wondered how these people on YouTube are so good at Gorilla Tag? Or are you a new player and wanting to learn how to get good? I'm going to be teaching you all the ways to become a pro in Gorilla Tag. I'm not unmuting you. Alright, so first, we have pinch climbing. Now, to pinch climb, all you have to do is hug the wall and pull forward at the same time. So you're basically going to be going in a motion like... So, when you're on the wall like this, you're going to pull yourself against it, and then throw yourself forward and up at the same time. So it'll look like this. <laughs> and then once you've done that, you'll be all the way up the wall. Also, I am sick in the recording of this, so don't make fun of my voice. Alright, for the next thing, we have wall bouncing. Now for wall bounce, what, what type of southern accent did I just have? Now for wall bouncing, all you have to do is move your hands like this. A big mistake that you can make is moving your hands only side to side. Your hands are going to have to go like this. So this is what it's going to look like. You put your hand on the wall right here, and you have time to stick to the wall. But just keep your hand parallel, and then you throw yourself to the other side, other side, other side. And you just keep on doing this combination over and over. And then you'll be at the top of the wall. And then from here, you could do a bunch of new mechanics like branching, scaling, or even a little jump. Or you can miss a long jump. Next thing that we have is ground movement. Now, if you want to walk fast or even run fast, what you do is you put your hand right here and you keep your hands at a motion like this while you're running. So you just keep your hands like that and parallel, and then it'll actually give you some speed. Now, if you've ever seen players move like this, That is really experienced ground movement, but all you have to do is go like this, and it pushes you really far, really fast. Ground movement isn't really that hard. The next thing that we have is wall running. Okay, just take the scenes, Wallachs. A lot of people over-exaggerate when they're on walls. This is wall all running. you have to do is keep your hand parallel, like this. Don't do like this, or like this, or like this when you're first starting. Just keep it like this. And when you're on the wall, you just pull up and forward at the same time. So it's gonna look like this. And eventually when you become more advanced, you can go higher up and faster. The next thing that we have is Lucio running. Now Lucio running is a very advanced movement tech. If you haven't learned wall running, you might wanna not try this yet, but this is a Lucio run. So I actually have a way different technique than most people for Lucio running. I put my hand like this, and then I go like this. Basically in a movement like that. So, like that. And that takes you really high up the wall. And it takes you to the side of the wall really fast and very quick time. Now, I don't wanna spend too much time on that since this is a beginner's guide. So the next thing that we have is wall climbing. This is wall climbing. Now, when you're wall climbing, you wanna go in a motion like this. You basically just throw your hand up and to the side at the same time and it gets you up the wall really efficiently. And then once you get to the top, you can Lucio run. By the way, if you see that color change in walls up there where it turns blue and then it turns red, red walls are the most slippery wall in the game and then blue walls are basic slippery walls. So they make you slide down a little bit just to block cheaters. The next thing that we have is going to be scaling. Scaling is just basically climbing up a tree. So all you need to do to scale is just know where you're going. Go to the nearest branch that's near you and then jump up, and then go to the next branch. So, boom, boom, boom. That's all you need to do to scale, and you can even go up these trees and big trees. The next thing that you're gonna need to know how to do is branch. So for branching, it's actually not even that hard. For branching, you can make up your own thing called routes. Routes are ways that you could get around the map branches that you remember and know where they're at. But all you need to do to branch is just jump to a branch and then jump to the next one. So wherever you see a branch, just go and jump to it. 
So all you have to do. The next thing that we're going to have is slide juking. <laughs> it's not really that hard. All you have to do, jump, put your arm on it, and then swing around. Like Waywolf just did. Now that's going to be all for this video. I'm going to make a more advanced tutorial in the future. Make sure to like and subscribe to help me out. Alright.